Welcome back to YouTube and it's a weekend again. So what better time to take you around a lovely 110 Land Rover Defender. So we've had this in this week. Second time we've seen this vehicle. The first time we carried out quite a few modifications. We did a doubled in hedging and stuff, which I'll show you in a moment. And uh, this time it's coming for full soundproofing, witness camera, and to few, sort of a few little niggles. So let's have a little look inside. We've kept the original carpet in here, but we've given them a sort of a jolly good cleanup. And after the soundproofing, I'll just run over it very quickly for those of you that haven't seen it before. I know most of you have, but of course we've got three layers in the doors. So we even soundproofed the back of the door card. Someone said on a YouTube video the other day that by doing this was a total waste of time. That's just bullshit. It's not a waste of time, of course. Any density you add to the panel is going to absorb vibration, of course, absorb noise. So it makes a really big difference. Dead important to soundproof the back of the door card. Anyone that don't do it, they're just lazy. So... We do that. Um, when we took it apart, we discovered one failed door membrane. We keep those in stock all the time. So, of course, rather than tape that up with gaffer tape, which we see a lot, we've replaced the membrane. I think it was the near side rear. So this one. This one. Oh, sorry, that, that one there. Um, this already had an Alcantara headliner, which looks absolutely beautiful. From 2015, they did have that sort of run out year. They all had this lovely Alcantara headliner. We keep them in stock all the time now in case you'd like to add one. So that's something we can do while we're soundproofing or of course as a separate entity. During the soundproofing process, we've added a stainless steel finisher. So that's this section here. Brush stainless steel. We like them in brushed because they hide any damage. You know, they're gonna get scuffed as you're getting in and out. A lot of people ask him if we could do them in black. Yeah, we can do them in black, but they're not gonna be as resilient or as hard wearing, but it can be done in black. We've soundproofed the whole of the floor pan. The gearbox tunnel's got three layers. We've done two layers in the roof. So we've done a um, not only a heat insulation up there, but also an acoustic insulation. So it's to stop the rain noise pounding through the ceiling and also to keep down that wind noise, etc. Rear doors, of course, are soundproofed, the same as the front. Stainless steel finishes in the rear. New black carpet, so this had no carpet in this rear floor section, so we've trimmed this, or put a new section of carpet in, nice and hard wearing because it's a floor carpet. Um, obviously, when we've done a soundproofing, we've soundproofed these little areas here, which from the, fa from the factory would be bare metal. This is all included in the price of the soundproofing. We've had an immobilizer, so this is our immobilizer, excuse me. <coughs> We don't go into too much detail about how this works on the website or on our videos. That's because we don't want to affect the security of the immobilizer. If we publicize it too much, we'll do exactly that. So please don't ask us how it works. You need to come and see us or bring your defender in. Then we'll discuss it with you in detail. Doubled in conversion. Great looking conversion, matte black fascia tends to be my favorite. We do keep these in matte black and gloss black and we can color code them to the vehicle. But I have to say my favorite matte black Kind of looks really factory, doesn't show the fingerprints. It's just a, a good looking, classy conversion. Custom side panel, we talk about this a lot. So the side panel you would normally see comes all the way down here and it has a round gauge in the bottom. We used to put a voltmeter in there and then we discovered that people just generally didn't like them. So we got rid of them completely. We custom finished this side panel and we do them like this all the time. If you want to fit one of these yourself, we keep the panels in stock. We can modify them and send them out. So we can send you a modified panel. Just drop us an email or call us and we can let you know how much it costs. We get them out normally the same day. We've got dozens in stock. Uh, what else can I show you in here? Ah, yes. Thinkware Q1000. It's the very latest Thinkware camera. 2K resolution to the front, 2K resolution to the back, true parking mode. Um, terrific bit of kit. Gives you speed camera warning if you need it and a defender that's arguable but it's still nice to have it's got wi-fi so when you want to connect your cam your phone to the device and view the footage you just quite literally sit in the car turn on the ignition connect to it you can then change all the settings and you can view any footage you can then download that footage whatsapp it to your insurance company if you need to real clever bit of kit so that's another bit of security added to this 110. Go around the back, I'll just show you a couple of items around here. So, yeah, we've added a witness camera, a little cobweb on there, so witness camera. We've added a rear view camera. So that's the Pioneer rear view camera. And as we said before, before we fit that, we take it all apart, we paint the bracket with an extra coat of paint. Uh, we bond it on there and we put one stainless steel black anodized little self tapper in there to hold it in place. The cables come through here. They're all sealed up from the inside. So there's no danger of any sort of water ingress. We've also done a rear witness camera. The rear witness camera, which is part of the Q1000 front camera, sits in the rear window here. Bit of a job to run the cable in, but 
it's all neat and tidy when we've done it. The cable comes through here, through here, up here, round the back of this rubber, ducks down here, comes around here, just pops out the bottom there, and there's our rear camera, 2K resolution. So there you go, showing you how to do it if you want to do one yourself. Takes a bit of time, but it's a proper job. All defenders come with bare metal here. We trim that, that's all part of our soundproofing package. There's no cost to trim this, it's all included. We've added a stainless steel finisher in the back, and we've returned the original stainless steel finisher, sorry, the original galvanized uh, finisher because this particular customer has an ongoing project and she's gonna use it in another vehicle. This car had parking sensors, but one of the issues it came in for, the parking sensors false alarming. So as we were doing everything else, we said we'd look at the parking sensors because at first glance, they are of course steel mates. They're a good quality parking sensor and that's what we use. So everyone fits them in a different way. So we drill the bumper, put a threaded insert in there and then put a stainless steel machine screw in there. So we put them into last and we keep them serviceable. Whoever fitted these wanged a self tapper in, which is now rusted solid and completely unserviceable, but we all do it a different way and chances are they were probably cheaper than us. When we looked at the sensors to see what was wrong with them, uh, first of all, we discovered a complete bird's nest in the back, which we've rewired. I may be able to show a picture of that in a moment, I may not. I'm not very good at editing YouTube videos, which is why I have to try and do them in one hit, which we mostly get away with. These sensors are polarized, so that means, or polarized, okay, so they've got to go in the right way up, that's what I'm trying to say. And there's a little indicator on the back to tell you which is top and bottom. So the two end ones were in sideways. So that means if you imagine your sensitivity pattern being like an ice cream cone, but it being elongated like this, if you imagine it then detects quite well from left to right, but you don't want to see the ground. If you put one in at 90 degrees off the axis it's supposed to be installed on, it then sees up and down rather than left to right. So guess what, it picks up the pavement. So we turned those round, we tidied them up, we re it, and actually it had a switch in the front which wasn't doing anything. I can't say, yes I can, look, it's just right down the front there, underneath our switch panel, a little parking switch sense there. Didn't do anything because the wires had been chopped off. So as there was a switch there, we reinstated it, rewired the whole thing, rewired the parking sensors which are behind there, and got it all looking neat and tidy, and got it functioning properly. As you can see, everything's back together really nicely, the vehicle's been thoroughly cleaned out, the glass has all been polished, and it's ready for handover. So there you go, folks. Another Defender about to leave the audio following car Emporium. As I like to say, thanks very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. If you don't want to, you don't have to. Thanks for watching.